guys. What's up, guys? Um, this is my tutorial video. For, um, this is my tutorial video for how to sound like T Pain. For how to sound like T Pain in in Melodyne. In Melodyne. Let's get started, shall we? Shall we? Anyways, um, I have a little recording sample snippet recorded in Logic already. It's beautiful. It's not. I don't know how you can make this sound any better. It's not beautiful, but um, I'm gonna just transfer this real fast to Melodyne. You gotta, you gotta hang in, hang in there while I do this. All right, let's transfer it real fast. It's as simple as something that nobody knows. That her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. It's terrible. <laughs> well, then fix me up. I will. I'm gonna do my best. Okay, now that's a snippet from Jack Johnson, "Bubble Toes." It is, and it doesn't sound like it's that. A, it's a great rendition. All. No. Okay, let's make them sound like T-Pain. Audio, got it in Melodyne now. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, you want to figure out what scale it's in, what scale the song's supposed to be in. Obviously, he wasn't very close to getting in that at all. Um, it was terrible. The right scale is is uh, is G major. So I'm going to, I went ahead and clicked G major. That's under Windows and Tone Scale if you guys didn't catch it. Then, uh, important thing, you're going to want to come down here to your bottom left corner and change your snap. Um, you're going to want to do scale snap, so you'll always snap your note into scale. Um, all right, going to get uh, Command A or Select A or Control A for your select all. Go into your pitch tool here and uh, double click on your, just double click any of the things and it'll snap the notes to scale. It's the first thing. So now let's see how that sounds. If it sounds any better at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and loop this in Logic so it just keeps playing. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. Sounds better. Mmm, tasty. But it's not T-Pain-ish yet. Oh. But we're one step closer because it's at least in, in key. All right. So now let's get into the fun in part. T. <laughs> yeah, that's that's clever. Oh, thanks. I just came up with that. Okay, I'm gonna go to your pitch tool right here. Go to edit pitch, or actually hold that and go to your pitch modulation tool. So now you have this. Make sure um, all your the, it, you selected them all, and then go ahead and go to the middle of any one of these audio files and just double click, and it'll make them flat. That's really important. That's what does that mean, Michael? It it's it's like robot voice. I I can't explain it. You can you can hear the difference. I can play it for you right here. I'll just play it real fast. You'll hear what the difference is that just made. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. It pretty much just got rid of any pitch fluctuation. So it's just straight pitch. Fluctuation. Big words. Big words. I'm proud of you. Big words. Alright, next step. We still have this pitch modulation tool open. Instead of double clicking in the middle of any one of these files, if you go on to the side of it, you'll see it changes from a squiggly line to a to a straight line. Um, go ahead and make sure it's all selected still. Double click, and now there's you can see the the lines between them. What do those orange lines mean? It's uh, how it it's how fast it goes to the other pitch. Like how it transitions, you mean? Yes, the transition. Mm. Thank you. So uh, yeah, just hold it and hold down. You want it to be as square as possible so it transitions very quickly. That's how you get the cool sound, cool T-Pain sound. So um, now, let's see how that sounds. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. Still not quite there, Mike. Yeah, I know. It's it's not actually in uh, in key very well. So it was it was sung actually so poorly. You suck at singing. So badly. Get back to work. That Melodyne can't even pick up. So we're going to have to manually kind of move these notes around. That's what Melodyne's for, though, anyways. It's really good at that. So um, usually what I'll do at this point is I'll just kind of let the loop keep playing and just adjust the notes to the correct pitch since Melodyne didn't do it for me. So I'm just going to let this go a few times and adjust it. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. It's oh, as simple as something that. that nobody that knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. 
It's as simple as something that nobody knows That her eyes are as big as her bubble it's toes It's so bad, I'm almost not quite sure what to do It's as simple as something that nobody knows That her See if eyes I help are you as out big again. as her bubble it toes it, It's pretty bad, dude It's as simple as something that nobody knows That her eyes are as big as her you know bubble what? it toes Let's just kind of mess around with this it's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. Let's just drag some pictures around. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. It's That's a... Uh... That's good enough for me right now. Um, you might be saying to yourself, that doesn't really sound like the T-Pain effect. Hey, Michael, that really doesn't sound like the T-Pain effect. You know what? <laughs> it doesn't... It, it, it's almost there. There's there's one more thing you need to do, and that's kind of this, this secret thing I've kind of figured out. Go to your note separation tool and click on that, and what you're going to do is just double-click in the, in the middle of one of these files. So let's go... I'm, I'm going to do a few of them so you can hear it. Double-click there... We click on these. Let's double click this one. After that, I'm gonna go back to my my pitch my pitch tool and it when you cut them it, it moves them to where they were supposed to go, but it usually doesn't sound good when you do that. So what I'm gonna do is make sure it moves back to pitch. What this is gonna make it sound like it's you're gonna hear the slide of the uh the pitch since it's I'm breaking it mid mid phrase I suppose so here's how that sounded that was real fast it's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes Last note it's wrong. as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes that's it's, a little more like that's the T pain effect. That I mean, that's what you hear, um, and that's pretty much it. It's just this uh, whatever they call it, the pitch slicer, and dicer chopper, the note separation tool. So, oh no, I'm running out of battery. So yeah, you just double click, go back to your your pitch tool, double click them again to make sure they're in to make sure they're lined up in pitch. And then you just move one of them, and it'll it'll do that really cool slide, which which sounds nifty, just sounds nifty. And that's pretty much it, really. Here's I guess the final. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are as big as her bubbly toes. Sounds a little different than uh than the beginning. I don't know if we want to hear this. It's as simple as something that nobody knows that her eyes are I, I don't tell a difference. I think they both sound good. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you would. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything, go ahead and shoot me a message or leave a comment or something. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.